Today's episode of the XP is brought to you by Loot Crate, monthly gaming and geek gear brought directly to your door. Sign up using the link in the description below. What's up, attackers? Kirk here with your weekly breakdown of the biggest and most noteworthy stories for the week in MMO ending on October 2nd. On today's episode, we'll be talking about H1Z1, Wildstar, Landmark, First Assault, and more. The XP starts now. So yesterday, the folks over at Daybreak Games released a video unlike we've ever seen from the company before. The September art wrap-up video was a sort of teaser of in-game art assets that gives us a glimpse of what the team is working on and what we can expect to see in the future from the post-apocalyptic zombie survival MMO game. That's a mouthful of a genre, right? In the video, you'll see new walking and crawling animations for humans and zombies, people tied up in bags, new animals like cougars and fireflies, as well as maggots and roaches, zombie heads in jars, and some new damage marks for structures, furniture, and foliage are also seen among the footage. The 4-minute video also shows a bunch of new reloading animations and just a bunch of cool stuff that any H1Z1 fan should enjoy. You're watching some of it now as I speak, but check out the full video in the link below. Armored Warfare, the tank battle MMO from Obsidian Entertainment and My.com, also released a video this week, but this one was just to announce the upcoming open beta test for the game. Up to this point, players who have wanted to check out Armored Warfare have had to shell out for an early access pack, but when open beta begins, you'll be able to download and play for free with all of your progress being saved into launch, and that's pretty cool. Now, of course, early access members will get a head start into the open beta, which runs from October 1st, which was yesterday, until October 7th. But from October 8th onward, anyone and everyone will be able to check the game out. More details can be found on Armored Warfare's open beta via their website. Earlier this week, the Perfect World and Cryptic Studios guys detailed a bunch of details for the next Neverwinter expansion titled Underdark. Underdark will feature a new campaign, new stronghold plot locations and PvP tower, a large-scale battle against the demon prince Demorgagon, I think, and of course much, much more. The dev team also outlined how they are making repeatable content more interesting by introducing some variability into fights so that players will need to focus less on muscle memory and more on reading and reacting to what's going on in battle. The team also mentioned that a laundry list of features would be covered in future blog posts, which only makes us have to bookmark their page so that we can get the info to you as quickly as possible. We will definitely keep you updated here at Attack Gaming, so stay tuned, Neverwinter fans. First Assault's first stress test kicked off yesterday, October 1st, and runs for two more days until Monday, October 4th. Nexon's free-to-play, ghost-in-the-shell-inspired MMO first-person shooter will have you playing as an elite augmented soldier with unique skill sets and weaponry on the urban battlefields of the future. A perk for players who play in the stress test can be unlocked by reaching level 2, seems easy enough, in which you'll receive an exclusive weapon skin. Also, any and all players who play this weekend will be entered to win a Logitech Ultimate Hardware Bundle. Sign up now via the link below. There's not much time. Only two more days, so get in there. As you might have heard, Wildstar went free-to-play this week, and now one of the biggest MRPG launches in recent years will definitely have an influx of new players trying the game out as they won't have to shell out their hard-earned cash for the opportunity to play. A huge launch event went down in Times Square, New York on Monday night, that's pretty crazy, and many of you might have seen the festivities on their Twitch stream throughout the night. So yes, Wildstar is now free to play, so go check it out right after you finish watching this video. The free to play conversion also came with quite a few changes as the reloaded update was the largest to date and brought redesigns in quest flow, character creations, environments, loyalty programs, and an overhaul to the levels 1 through 15 experience. A brand new lighting design was also added to the game, so the transition definitely became much more drastic for anyone jumping in. Like I said, check out Wildstar today. 
And that's all the time I have for you. Please show this video some love with a like and a subscribe if you could, please. And we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks again. We'll see you on the flip side. Welcome back, Attack. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 free-to-play MMOs for this year, for 2015. And I think across all the genres for free-to-plays, we've seen so much innovation in MOBAs, in MMOs, in, like, card games. We've seen so many new things this past year, and hopefully, maybe, probably so, 2015 is going to be just as exciting. This is